This is an extremely short video, just recapping the oil safety control that you find in the refrigeration. Most often oil safety controls are used on larger systems or systems with a very large riser in the suction line. In other words, uh, a straight vertical run from the um, condenser to the evaporator in the suction line. So the operation of the mechanical side is that the oil safety uses what's called a differential pressure. The oil pressure control must determine the difference between the suction pressure and the oil pump outlet pressure. Basically what it's doing is subtraction. The crankcase pressure is different from atmospheric pressure. The crankcase pressure is going to be the same pressure that you would find at the suction service valve. Okay, so whatever's in the crankcase is on the low side of the system. There's a capillary used for testing both crankcase and oil pump outlet. The pressures oppose each other, one trying to open the switch, the other trying to close it. Then we use an adjustable spring that adds pressure to the low side as to not shut out during startup until pressure has been established. Oil pressure must not drop below manufacturer's recommended minimums, and the commonly cutout is 12 PSI. On the electrical side of the oil pressure safety, we have a time delay circuit. The control has to have a delay so that the pump can establish pressure. If the time delay were not present, the unit would never be allowed to come on. We also use a 120 volt heater that is wired in series with the differential switch. If the heater is allowed to operate too long, it will use a bimetal contact, bimetal metal in there to open a set of contacts and it opens the controller. This happens between 90 and 100 seconds after the heater is energized. So we use a normally closed set of control contacts. Once they open, they require a manual reset. It's actually a pretty simple device. Again, key points to remember, differential. So it subtracts the suction pressure from the oil pump pressure, and that's the true oil pressure. Then we also use a delay on startup. So if you're taking readings on this device, you're not gonna get accurate readings until you through that time delay. And then finally, if the oil pressure ever drops, the contacts close and use the, and it creates a path through a small heater. The oil pressure is only allowed to drop between 90 and 120 seconds or it will lock out. The whole purpose is to protect the compressor.